Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and welcome to my channel. Today I have an amazing Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is brand new. I love going to multiple Dollar Trees throughout the week so then I can show you what is new and what to look out for. I give you ideas on how to use these items in a different way, maybe some DIY ideas, and I share some measurements for you as well so you have a better idea how big and small these items really are. I have been able to find so many amazing name brand items lately at the Dollar Tree. Now everything at my Dollar Tree is either a dollar or a dollar 25. That's it. That's as high as the prices go. I don't have like the like a five below kind of store in there. Everything's a dollar or a dollar 25. I know a lot of you have asked me that question, but yes, all of my Dollar Trees here in Fort Wayne are a dollar 25 and some candy and some canned goods are still a dollar. But these items I was able to find, I am literally speechless. These items right here that I'm going to show you, I think I was able to find 16 different ones so far. Now, these are Ugg boot covers. Of course, I'm not going to wear them over my boots. I don't even have a boots anyway. But you can buy these for the fabric, the buttons whatever they come with they're all different and i am going to give you a close look at all of these i'm going to show you the packaging and i'm going to undo them all lay them out so you have a better idea now before i show you these i found these at my dollar trees either in a box by the socks socks in the box and then i also found them at another dollar tree over there by the hair combs barrettes and all that kind of stuff so just be sure you look throughout your store for these if you're interested these right here these are marable marabella and like like i said there's so many different ones so the very first one I'm going to um, share with you on the back, it says Slouchy Cheer Gold Sparkle Aqua. Now I'm going to be laying these all out for you, but first I'm going to show you all the different ones that you can choose from. I have them just scattered everywhere. Now some of these, especially this one and this one, now this one, let me show you this one. This one's my favorite. I took one of these out of the bag and I'm like, the buttons are probably worth more than the whole thing itself right here. You're going to get two covers. See right there. So you're going to get two and they are reversible. So one side is going to look like that. And the other side is going to look like that. Now I want to show you these buttons up close because I think they're fantastic. They are heavy duty. They are not plastic. These are like metal. So again, this is one side and there is the other. You'll wrap it around and you can buckle it. But you can make probably doll clothes out of these. You can make a cute little pillow or um, a book cover. You can rip the buttons off and sew them onto something else if you want. But I just think these are amazing. So let me go through these fairly quickly. So you have an idea. Well, you know what? Let me show you this really quick. So it does come with this. Some ideas, directions, a lot of all that fun stuff. So, okay. This one is my other favorite one and it's furry. It's furry and jean, like jean material. You could probably make some really cute clothes for like American girls or something. Be a cute Christmas present. Then they have this one and that one and that one. This is another one I really like. Love the colors. You know what? I haven't opened one of these, but I know we'll have an open here for you. But really quick, I want to see if. Okay, I thought maybe you could wear it as a headband, but that would have to be one teeny tiny head. But you could wear it as a... <laughs> you can't. My fingers are stuck. You know, I guess if you want like a, I don't know, deformed puppet or um, like a... Ooh, oh, my fingers are <laughs> popping. I don't know. Well, I'm sure you can 
put it. It almost looks like a tunnel for a ferret or something. I don't know. But I just think it's really, really soft. Okay, got distracted. Sorry. Okay, I showed you that, showed you that, showed you that. Okay, we have a, a jean one. And this is a jean one with the camo. Beautiful blues. Pink, black, and white. These are some fluorescent colors, retro-y looking. And this one's jean and it looks like some, I don't know, red dots or peppers or something. And then this one's some blues, black, and greens. And blue and green and white. And then they had this one like the first one I showed you, but it's a different color. These are so heavy. Amazing. And I think one of you said it, these were made in Australia. I don't know. I couldn't find anything on the internet on them. So I don't know. So those are amazing. Now these are amazing as well. These are by Floral Garden. There's five different ones and these are metal ribbon. Uh-huh metal ribbon. Um, they are one inch by 4.5 feet. So this is how you're going to see them at the store. There is the new tag of Floral Garden. Now I have found these in multiple places in my Dollar Trees. So first, they are over by the flower wreaths. They will be in a box, a flat box, and it will say Floral Ribbon. They also have these on a hook over there by the Easter ribbon, and I found these over by the flowers. So I'm going to lay them out right here and show you all five different ones. These are, again, metal. They are flexible. You could do some really cute stuff for scrapbooking, or you can put these around picture frames. You could make a card um, with these. Uh, you could probably wrap it around a glass bottle or a piece of wood, um, a vase. So many different things you can do with these. I think these are amazing items that you can find at your Dollar Tree. So I just wanted to share those with you really quick. And the Crafter Square is really coming out with some amazing items. So these two things, um, first we have a 70 piece sewing needles. Hmm. Yeah. Look at all of those needles and they come in a little storage kind of thingy, maduber. You know what? I don't know if I have any scissors to open this. I'll try to open it here and try to give you an up close. Um, so they had that set, and then they also had an 18-piece sewing needle. So look at all that. There's the back. They also had, I think, three or four, four different ones of these. These are the Crafter Square Embroidery Needle Bundle. I picked up the pink one with the flowers. I thought it was cute. It does have a band on the bottom. So you can put it over your hand like this, I do believe, because I think the lady that hemmed my daughter's dress for the wedding had hers on like that, or she had it on her wrist. I honestly can't remember how she had it, but it's like cardboard down here, and then you have the poofy to stick your needles in. It can almost look like a ring. Where it has a bracelet. Where it has a bracelet out and about. And see if anyone said, oh, I just love your bracelet. It makes your arm look so thin. Oh, <laughs> thank you. So yeah, I thought that was cute. I got one of those. They also have a lot of the elastic bands. They had so many colors. I just picked up three, these three colors. They are 10.9 yards. These are my Crafter Square. So I picked up the white, the gray, and the orange. They also had it in black, purple, pink, and navy. I'm going to pull this one out to give you an idea. So 
Look at that. Stretchy. Ooh, I guess you can go around flicking people with it. So yeah, very stretchy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. By Crafter Square. Oh, and their ribbon. They have been killing it with their ribbon lately. Um, this is six feet long. It's one and a half inches wide. And I had to get this one because I love mushrooms. I don't eat mushrooms, but I love mushrooms. You can kind of see some of those in there. Those are all from the Dollar Tree. I painted them. That's another DIY I got to share with you on what I do with a bunch of these um, mushrooms right here. They're all just all over in there. But anyway, look at this. Get it. They also had ribbon with, with gnomes all over it, and they had one with gnomes and mushrooms. But I told myself when I went into the store that I was only going to spend a certain amount. So I also bought some food. I don't haul a lot of food, but I do buy a lot of my food there. So after buying the stuff I really need, and then what I have left is when I buy other things like this that I can share with you, and I cannot get this. <laughs> Don't rip my mushroom. My mushroom, no. Okay, there we go. I'm happy now. Look how cute that is. What am I going to make with it? I don't know. Maybe I'll just decorate my wall with a bunch of mushroom strips everywhere. I just thought those were all I got. Just one of the little exciting things that I picked up on this uh, trip. And it's called Scrapbooks, Gift Bows, Crafts, Decorating by Floral Garden Ribbon. Okay, their pictures. I am a huge fan of their pictures, but I am not a huge fan of the frames that they come in. I do take the glass out and I will use it on something else. I usually paint the frames. Unless the frame is this color, then I usually leave it alone. This one is a day without coffee is like... Just kidding. I have no idea. I tell you what, when the days I can't drink coffee, like if I have to do fasting or something and I can't drink my coffee, and I was someone that never drank coffee until, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, I gotta have my coffee. I gotta have my creamer. I gotta have my coffee. Six ounce cup. That's it. No doubles, no nothing. Just six ounce cup and I'm good. These are by Special Moments and they are an eight by 10. And the glass is very, 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 very fragile. I know glass is already fragile, but this kind, if you even look at it weird, it'll crack. So just an FYI. And then this one I thought was cute. My cooking is so awesome. Even the smoke alarm cheers me on. I don't really cook anymore. I used to cook six nights a week. My husband has been cooking a lot. He has three different smokers. He has a flat grill. He has a charcoal grill. He has a regular grill. He has, I don't know, all this stuff. So he loves to make stuff like that. So I'm like, go at it. Go right ahead. The only thing I really make anymore is spaghetti and lasagna. That's it. I thought this one was really cute, plain, simple, and I both choked on my saliva. And it's just a coffee cup. How cute. Simple. Definitely going to change the frame. Don't like it. You can always spray paint it, but the favorite one out of all of the pictures I went through at the Dollar Tree, because anytime I come across any kind of new pictures, canvas, I always lay them out at the store to give you a close look. And this one right here is by far my favorite so far this year. Right there. Look. Pretty simple. No funky colors. Plain and simple. Just the way I like it. Yes. So those are the pictures that I picked up. Uh, they have a few different ones of these. I think they have four. I picked up these two. And this is just called a word or wood circle decoration. This one has the uh, rainbow and it's just round. You know, you can paint it, you can stain it, you can leave it the way it is. You can add pictures to it. And the other one I picked up is Welcome. I'm going to go ahead and probably add some flowers from the Dollar Tree, some greenery. And yeah, but you know what? You could probably even take some of your metal and do around the edges. I don't know. There's just so many different things you can do with this um, ribbon. Okay. And they also had two new ones of these. 
They have it in the shape of a house. They're not huge, um, but they have it on the wipe off board and the chalkboard. So I thought, okay, I'll get the chalkboard in the shape of the house. It is plain on that side if you didn't want to use the chalkboard. And then they give you the option if you just want a frame, which they had it in the chalkboard and the white up board as well. So I thought, mm, I'll just get one of each. So that is what I did. Okay, the items I have right over here. Um, I hauled two of these, but now they have another new one. The eucalyptus one is by far my favorite. These are amazing. I love these and they really do work. Trust me, they work. These are two ounce bottles of the B4 toilet drops. As I like to say, before you drop the kids off at the pool, pool, you just do one squirt of this in the water there in the toilet bowl and it will freshen the room just like that. I haven't smelt this one yet, but the eucalyptus one is by far my favorite. It is amazing and trust me, it really, really works. I have five kids and I have used it with all of that, especially my son and my husband. It works. It's nothing like that poopery because that stuff, I don't think it worked at all. But this, uh -huh. and this one's a lavender. So this would be something good to carry around in your purse because I know sometimes if you go to a friend's house or if you go to a hotel or if you're traveling and you have to go poo poo or whatever, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Stop that. Hey, just whoop that out. No one will know. Just don't have no skin marks. It's actually, I like it, but I don't want to squirt it because it comes out really, really fast. Oh, why did I jump? That smells good. Hmm. I'm going to try that. Or have my son or husband try it. Okay, moving right along. Oh, I bought a few of these. These are actually really handy. These are so mine glasses on the go. Now, when I looked these up online, I found them at uh, Office Depot for like six or seven bucks. The Dollar Tree has them and a few different, um, I don't know, I think this one's a 1.50. My husband uses these when we go out, like say to a restaurant, he has to read something or if we're going to Menards or Lowe's and he has to look at some measurements or whatever. I usually have a pair in my purse and he has a pair in his pocket or in his truck and just pulls these out. They're really easy to um, put on. They're very handy and they do come with a little sticky thing if you wanted to stick it up in your car or somewhere else. It does come with a little case and all you do, there you go. And these definitely make my eyes feel bad. Pretty blurry, but see how they, they they're not falling off. I don't know why I yelled. Maybe I had them on backwards. Why did everything look seem? Oh, there you go. I had them on backwards. <laughs> no wonder everything went on. No, no. Still blurry for me. But he needs to go to the eye doctor. But you can't tell a man to do anything. No, I don't want to go to the doctor. I don't have to. <laughs> but yeah, and they also put them on your keychain too. So something really handy to have, especially if you fly in that, pop it in your wallet. Uh, speaking of glasses and that, the Dollar Tree has some new eyeglass pouches. These are easy open designs. I love the material that they use this um, for, and I use it for other things. You can use it if you travel, like for makeup brushes, pens, pencils. Um, some of your makeup can fit in there, or your sunglasses or eyeglasses, maybe um, suntan lotion. Uh, my husband, got, I thought he had two of them. Oh, maybe put the one back. I think he might have just got this one then for his glasses. And those are usually always hanging on the plastic strips over there by the sunglasses, the eyeglasses, and the checkout lanes. A couple of books uh, I picked up. This one I'm going to give to my son. I thought it was funny for the title. It says Zombie Farts. Mm -hmm. Zombie Farts. So thought this would be something cute to put in his Easter basket. He loves to read. So I got him that. And then my husband picked this one up for, I think, himself or my son. Um, he plays baseball. It says, don't let injuries sideline you this season. Play ball. 
and it retails for $16.99. And the last couple of items I picked up on this trip, this is by Toolbench. This is a sanding block and sandpaper. You get 10 sheets. There's the directions there on the back. It should be fairly easy to maneuver. And it is plastic. These are your sheets. They are long, so they go on your sander. And it feels like they're all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. No, they're different grits. They're not all the same. And then you just stick it in there and you have the sanding there and you sand. Oh, I forgot this too. This is an amazing vase at the Dollar Tree. Most likely I will use some chalk paint and do a different color. Um, but I love, hear that? It's, it's bumpy. I like it. I like it a lot. So just nothing too exciting. But this right here, I have been looking for months and months and months and months and months at the Dollar Tree for oven cleaner. Why was it so scarce for so long? This is the scrub free oven cleaner, heavy duty and fume free. It is a, le a lemon scent. It's a 9.7 ounce. Now I do not use this for my oven. Do you know what I use this for? A dear neighbor of mine years ago gave me a little hack of using this. If you have a shower door, you don't have, you know, it's the glass door or whatever. Ours gets all scummy really quick. Spray this on your shower door and let it set for like an hour. Very rarely will you even need to scrub it off. Just spray it on there, close it, make sure your dog or cat can't get to it, lick it or anything. Let it sit for about an hour. And when it's ready, you can go in your shower and spray it off. Um, I suggest put flip flops on if you can. Um, just so it's not directly on your feet or some water shoes. And this will blow your mind. Mm -hmm. It works. Trust me. So that is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. Josie. Hey, listen. Why? Why are you so moody? Huh? Why are you in such a bad mood? I already fed you. Hey, listen. I fed you your dinner. And I gave you some turkey in fresh water? Yeah, I did. I know. But you're not getting any more foot. There you go. You throw your tantrum. 
Go right ahead. Show everyone how you are. You want to play the guitar? You ready? You ready? Sing. There you go. A little off tune. But we'll try it again. Ready? Jo Josie, ready? Ready? All right. Oh, that sounds beautiful, Josie. You've been practicing. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's go. Hey, let's do the next one. Squirrel. We're going to sing squirrel. Okay, ready? Oh. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, okay, we'll do the lighter one. We'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll do the chipmunk. Chipmunk. job. You've been practicing, huh? Oh, you're so big and so bratty. <laughs> hey, why don't you go run around the backyard and try to catch a squirrel? There you go. Bye-bye.